Oh, I know. I mean, not that I play with it or anything. <laughs> right here. Yes! <laughs> it fits! Bob uses the picture on the puzzle box to help show him how to put it together. That's a strange looking spotty kitty. Ooh, excuse Arf Rolly. Arf must finish vacuuming up all this leftover kibble. finish the puzzle without the picture of the leopard to help. Then look at that. Oh, it's time for work. Arf feels bad for ruining your puzzle box. And I feel bad that Bob is sad. So all we need to do is find him a new leopard. Easy. We just go to the... Where do leopards live? Find a leopard for Bob so we can finish his puzzle. Arf must warn you. Leopards are big cats and they can be hard to find. And I do like to be alone and hide in high places. And you're a cat, like you just said. Since you said, oh, please, oh, please, oh, please. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> yeah! Let's go! traveling halfway around the world. Thanks, Barry the Giraffe. Yeah, thanks, Barry. Look at all this mud. This might be the best swimming pool ever. Oh, I'm going to play in that mud like I've never played before. Uh, excuse me. Have you by any chance seen a leopard around here? You know, the kind you find on a jigsaw puzzle box? Do you know where the leopard is now? Oh, like all leopards, this fella is a pretty hard cat to find. His spots help him blend into the trees where he lives. Let's follow those paw prints and find that leopard so Bob can finish his puzzle. Wait for me. Roar! I don't see him. That's because his spots help him blend in. It makes him hard to see. Oh. Ha! Of course. Follow me. <laughs> Quietly. Take your appetite for noisy things and deny it. You need to be quiet. I know it won't come easily, but just try it. We need to be quiet. Whisper when you talk. What? I can't hear you. I know it won't come easily, but just try it. So now that we found where he lives, where is he? He must have heard us. Hey, my favorite cat toy. How did that get here? I forgot. I brought it in case I felt the urge to play with it. <laughs> <laughs> I just love funny noises. <laughs> oh, oh, if you squeeze it down lower, it sounds even funnier. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Leopard? <laughs> oh, please call me Titus. Whoa, Mr. Titus. We really need a leopard. Right, Rolly? Rolly? I'm right here, Bingo. I got stuck again. Look at his fur. It's so stained that he almost looks like a leopard cub. Me? A leopard? Cool! Come on, guys. We gotta get back home so Bob can finish his puzzle. Of course not. And thank you for helping us out on our mission. Yes! <laughs> That's the last piece of the puzzle. I did it! But thank goodness you did, because you look just like a little spotted leopard. <laughs> Your own squeaky toy. Arf, come help me get the bath going. Maybe we can share it? I don't know, guys. I'm doing just... <laughs> <laughs> the the go-long retriever. <laughs> Let it go, Rolly. Well, 
Well, it looks like you two are in the mood for a fetch-filled day. But I've got something better than a drippy old stick. I invented it just for you. I've already started over on several versions of this invention because they weren't working right. I hope this is the one that finally works. Play fetch with me. <laughs> oh, somebody needs to bring it back. I got it! I was here first! Good job! <laughs> Yippity dog! I think this one's a keeper! When that stick lands somewhere but you can't get it, there it goes again! Now watch it come right back! See you later, doggy dudes! Too bad about that stick. It seemed really nice for a stick. I wonder why it didn't come back. No, no, no. Broly, Bob said he needed to start over with a new version of his invention. So maybe we should help him by getting rid of this one for him. Play fetch with me. <laughs> no, you silly stick. <laughs> We're trying to get rid of you. <laughs> our toys here, so this is the perfect place to get rid of the stick. <laughs> the perfect place to get rid of what? Leave us alone, Cupcake. <laughs> oh, this is a weird game that Stick likes to play. It keeps wanting to come back to us because that's what Bob made it to do. Well, then I changed my mind. I don't want it. Dig a big hole and drop it in Then kick that dirt back on top again Bury it A puppy's gonna bury it See you later, Stick I mean, we don't want to see you later, Stick Yeah, you're being grounded <laughs> You're a good hole digger, Oli And you just as... Uh, it just keeps wanting to play with us some more Play fetch with me Okay if that stick is gonna keep coming at us... Play fetch with me! Play fetch with me! Come on! That stick won't be able to find us if we hide in there! Play fetch with me! Won't that stick just go boingity boing 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 in here and then we'll have to run away again? Woohoo! Yeah! What's that sound? Bouncy house is losing its tail. Yeah, that sign said so. Play fetch with me. Play fetch with me. Can't you just please stop trying to come back to us? Yeah, we want to get out of this sticky situation. Not yet. Not yet. Now. Now for real now? Now for real now. Me neither, but at least we did what Bob wanted us to do. Yeah, when we want to get rid of something, we get it gotten rid of. Huh? huh? Play this way! Run! Faster! <laughs> We're already going faster! <laughs> Listen. Are you two having a doggy house day? It's Bob! <laughs> uh. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Bob, you're, you're you. you! Whoa! <laughs> Not tired of fetch yet, huh? How about we play fetch with me? Uh, no thanks. Play fetch with me. I uh, don't really want to. Design a dog. Never fear, pets of Parksville. Our far fit away. Commercial messages. Ooh, it's my favorite commercial. First pick out and fluff your pup. Would you like to build your own stuffed animal, dress it up, and take it home to play? I would love that. <laughs> well, you two look like you're having a good time. <gasps> oh, I had tons of fun with the toys in this box. But it's time someone else got to have fun with them.
We're in bed. Look, Look what, what you, you did. did! Look, Look what, what you did! did. Oh, did you guys just ruin Ruff Ruff? Ruin who's what? Bob in his room with Ruff Ruff, Bob at the beach with Ruff Ruff, Bob at the... Just about everywhere he went with Ruff Ruff. Aww. Let's go! Designer dog today. Yay! Let's go! First pick out and fluff your pup. Then you sew your puppy up. This place is amazing! And come out. There! One perfectly poofy pooch. Come on, Rolly. Let's take Ruff Ruff in there and make him perfectly poofy, too. Ruff Ruff will need just enough stuff to stuff him up so he's stuffed. That's a lot of stuff for Ruff Ruff. Whoa! That's way too stuffed! Now it's time to sew this puppy up. But we're gonna need some kid power to do it. Chloe? Wow, that looks so good! <laughs> and there's just one more thing to do with this doggy, so follow me! When I go down, you go up. And when you go up, I'll go down. We're doing. I think we use too much bingo and rolly power. Sometimes bingo and rolly power can be a dangerous thing. And now it's time to get our doggy looking dog tacular. First, we get him clean, <laughs> then, we give him some style. And we might as well get ourselves looking good, too. Here comes the cleaning. I like that color. It matches my eyes. We did it, Rolly. Bob's toy looks as good as it ever did. Okay, it's time for the tea pup party. Everybody choose a stuffed doggy. Oh. Rolly, they think we're toys. Yeah, but they dressed us up so nice for their party, we should stick around, just to be polite. Pretend food? Let me tell you something. That's no party. And pretend tea? Drink your tea, fancy doggy. Go, go, go. The party's over. Yep. Oh no! What if she takes Bob's toy? What if we take it first? Faster, Rolly, faster! Oh no, I'm rolling too fast! Okay, everybody, have a good day! Bye bye! <laughs> <sighs> yep, Bob won't even know we took it out of the box. <laughs> hey guys! <laughs> Uh, give me a minute before I say hello, okay? I just need to put this stuff outside. You're just giving this stuff away? To anybody who wants it. <gasps> I want it. Can I keep them, Mommy? Please? I'm glad I found someone to give Ruff Ruff to. Because I don't need a pretend doggy anymore. I have two of the best... Oh, there's the sign I've been looking for. Now that is one fine-looking broccoli. <laughs> Hi there, puppies. Hey, little piggy. We're waiting for Bob. He's buying vegetables. Well, do you want to come see the most awesomest place here? Yeah! <laughs> Fun, but it can really wear a puppy out. Um, That's why after we pigs get all muddy. Well, it sure looks like you had fun exploring the farm, you little muck monsters. I can hardly tell which one of you is which. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I know, Hissy. These two are a mess. And then you'll go. Ah. I should go first so Rolly can keep pretending to be a pig. Okay. 
Yeah, you might want to leave him in there extra long since he was extra piggy when he went in. I never said I was. My name's Snout. <laughs> oh, no. Bob must have brought that piglet home by mistake. I found this one sleeping near a tree. <sighs> I'm sure he's as hungry as all of you. <laughs> yummy, yummy, yummy. I get to fill my tummy. Okay, time to pig out. <laughs> We're gonna curl up like we always do and go back to sleep. Wait, where's Bingo? I can't go to sleep without my brother. A dog who's starting to wonder where his brother, the dog, is. That's so silly how you play pretend. Bingo, where are you? You and I are going on a mission. <laughs> Snow? <laughs> Except nothing looks familiar. All it looks is tilty. Thanks for lunch, piggies, but it's time for me to go. Snow? There you are. You're harder to keep track of than my own brother. Whoa! It's a nice place to visit, but I don't want to live there without Bingo. What you doing out of the pig pen, little piggy? I'm looking for my brother. My goodness! You're not a little piggy at all. You're a puppy. You must love your brother a lot. I do, and now I need to figure out where to find him. That farm has got to be close by, which means my brother is too. Rolly? Rolly! Bingo! Rolly! Bingo! I knew you'd come find me. I just knew it. When we were apart, we spent every moment together. Every morning, afternoon, and night, yeah, you were always with me by my side. You're kind of a slob, and you kind of drool. But when you're not here, I miss you. Let's make sure we're never separated. Never. Then we have to figure out where that farm you live on is. It's right there. Hey, I'm home! Hey, what? I'm back, Kissy. I'm back! Did you miss me? Sure. Yeah. I want to go through together. <laughs> Wait, our Arf did not make you dry doggies. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, you two are... And boy, do I like to slide down on hills right after the very first snowfall. Oh, hanging onto the sides of my sled while wearing my new gloves. I wish you could find that first snowflake of winter for Bob. Or a whole bunch of snowflakes. Like when it snows at the park and the place gets all snowy. Rolly, that's a great idea. It was. Oh, then it's a good one. Let's go! <laughs> Analyzing environmental conditions to determine appropriate doggy dress-up. Stay warm, puppies! Ooh, Arf's face is a little chilly, but Bob made Arf with a built-in face warmer. Ooh, that is nice. Keep your eyes on the skies, Rolly. Hey! What's up, Double Pups? Hello there, single squirrel. Even think about burying any nuts. Ah, nuts! We could help you if you want. I'm listening. We're double dog ri Hey! Sorry! <laughs> Bullseye! Thanks! Now I can get back to lying around again. Oh, hey! If you see any... I never realized how big the sky is until I was watching for a snowflake to fall out of it. Well, we're just gonna have to keep looking up until we see... Whoa! <laughs> 
No, that's my name. Funny Bunny. Knock, knock. Who's there? I already told you. Funny Bunny. <laughs> and we're looking for snow so we can say, there it is. Oh, no. I was supposed to find a home before winter got here, but I was too busy thinking up ways to be funny. This is the perfect place to dig out a home for a bunny named Funny. <gasps> Custom built just for me? Yeah. Could you watch for snowflakes while we dig it? <laughs> I know. Anyway, okay. Come on, Rolly. We have to keep looking for that snowflake so Bob can go whoosh, whoosh. Have you seen any snowflakes around here? No, and I hope I don't. That'd mean it's winter, and I'm supposed to fly south with the other birds before it gets wintry and cold. I know where that is. Come on. This is where I last saw my friends, but oh, they're not here. And neither was that for a snowflake. Good luck finding your snowflake. Thanks. Have a nice flight. <gasps> Bingo, look, it's snowing. Those are just feathers, Rolly. Hi. Hey, Hello. keep it down out there. Some of us are trying to sleep. Who's that? Are you talking to us? That depends. Were you the loud ones going blah, blah, blah about... Ugh, how can they not know winter is on the way? That's why I'm down here, getting ready to start hibernating. Getting ready to hiber what, huh? Hibernating means... But if you wanted to sing, I'd probably listen. A smack, a soft place, and all the lights out? I think we can get you all three. Hey there, doggy diggers. I haven't seen that first snowflake yet, but I'm... Hey, guys. Did you find that first snowflake of winter yet? No. But right now, we're looking for the perfect rock that'll fit perfect. A mouthful of these should be just right. Here you go. A bedtime snack. Although, it might be nice to hear that lullaby again. I thought it was kind of pretty. One, two, three, one. It's sleep. This lullaby is the best. <sighs> that is one hibernating hedgehog. Is it a snowflake? The first one of winter. Then let's find Arf and get home to tell Bob we found it. I'm home. <laughs> Is that? It's a snowflake. Oh, and another snowflake. Winter is here. Oh, keep on falling, snow, because I'm ready to sled. Hey, who's ready to sled with me? We are, Bob. It's a pub. I can't tell you how excited I am for our vacation to Florida tomorrow. I always thought Bob was a Bob. And look at that. It's the parrot I made friends with. When I first got to Florida, I was feeling homesick, and he helped me feel better. A coconut getting, grape eating, dancing, singing parrot? Woo! You know, parrots can live a long, long time. Hmm, I wonder if I'll ever see him again. What, what rhymes with Florida? Did you hear that, Rolly? Bob's right. Florida is hard to rhyme with. I can't wait to play the beach with Bob. <laughs> Sorry, guys. The beach is going to have to wait. I'm not feeling that well, so I'm going to rest here until I feel better. That totally makes sense. I get it. I do miss my stick collection back home and the backyard. I smell a mission. Let's go. Wait. How are we going to find that parrot? Bob said that the parrot knocked down coconuts and ate grapes. Bob did say he first met the parrot while on a walk in a garden. Then we should go on a walk. I love walks. Hey, we know you. <laughs> Sorry, Nellie. Are you Bob's bird? We came here on vacation to play with Bob on the beach. Except Bob doesn't want to play because he's homesick. Now we're looking for Bob's birdie friend to help him feel better. <laughs> the bird I heard singing was right over there. 
Just like that sneaky I think the singing is coming from here. <laughs> Rolly, I need some help. Puppy Tower come to. You are the best seagull saving pups in all of Florida. And I don't know what rhymes with Florida. Right? It's unrhymable. Except Jonathan isn't the right kind of singing bird. He's a seagull. Bob's bird is a parrot. And Bob's bird knocks coconuts out of trees. I know, I know. Look out! Whoa! Bingo, there's a bird knocking coconuts out of that tree. It looks exactly like Bob's bird. Bob's bird, Bob's bird. Down to the well, we found him. Bird to the word, you did. Bird to the word. Come on, Rolly, let's get Bob's bird back to the hotel. Then when Bob wakes up from his nap, he'll be all, hey, he's my parrot friend from when I was little. And then he'll feel better. Hey, Bob's bird, come with us to Bob's hotel. Bob's hotel. Me too, except the sand is so hard to walk on. Whoa. We can use them to bring him back to Bob's hotel. Over here, Bob's bird. Look, grapes. Yummy. And now there's a third Bob's bird. Ah. Rolly, there can only be one Bob's bird. Bingo, I think these parrots are only repeating things they've already heard us say. Ah, repeating things. Ah, heard us say. Bob's bird also sang and danced. Whichever one sings and dances must be Bob's bird. Any one of you guys like to sing and dance? <sighs> I think Bob's bird might need a little inspiration. We need to sing and dance, and maybe Bob's bird will decide to join us. Shake a tail feather. Shake a tail feather. Do a little parrot dance. We're looking for Bob's bird. Shake a tail feather. Shake a tail feather. Do a little parrot dance. Which one's the best one that's supposed to be Bob's bird? That was a mouthful. Bob could wake up at any time. He said the same thing Bob says when he's frustrated. Suffering side orders of seaweed salad. Seaweed salad. But the only way he'd know to say that is if he heard Bob say it. Back to Bob. Surprise. Bye-bye, other parents that are not Bob's bird. Not Bob's bird. What are you two so excited about? Hey there, fellas. Back. Wait. Is that who I think it is? Why, well, I'd recognize that voice anywhere. Oh, I can't believe it. Good job, guys. We did it, Rolly. You know what, pups? I feel so good, I feel like going to the beach. Yay, we're going to the beach with Bob. Yeah, we are. Can you hear me, Sea Pup Rolly? Loud and clear, Sea Pup Bingo. Ahoy! <laughs> I knew you guys would love the doggy scuba gear I made. Wait, only one box? Well, I had ordered two. Let me see if I can... Uh-oh, it says it got lost at sea. Lost at sea? See you later, Bob. Bye, pup. This box is useless without the second box. Oh, I really hope they find it. But bingo, the delivery woman said it fell off the boat and into the sea. Yes, but with our special scuba dog in gear, we can search the sea and find it. Underwater, puppy power to the rescue. Sounds like we have our mission. Yeah, let's go. <clears throat> Except we don't know where we're going, do we? The delivery woman said the box fell off the boat near the Great Barrier Reef. There are also beautiful green islands that boats sail past every day. So the missing box for Bob could be in a coral reef. We need a boat, which we can find at the harbor. Let's go! Now we just need a boat to get us to... Isn't this barrier reef great, Frank? It looks like the ocean is having a party down there. Ahoy! Go Those must be dogfish fishies. Now remember, Sea Pup Rolly, we're looking for a box with a paw print inside a bubble. One bubble box for Bob. Got it. Come back! I didn't get to ask if you've seen Bob's lost box. Rolly, wait! Wow, this little fish is fast. If you tell me some of the things you see around you, then I'll know if I'm getting close. Okay, I'm in a beautiful orange coral cave. I see the same thing. 
I found you! And I found you! Did you see any boxes? No, me neither. The delivery woman said it fell off a boat. Fell to the wall, it's wings! Oh, wait! Hello, puppy pal. Yeah, but it's under the water. There was a box in it, though. Maybe it's Bob's box. If you want to look, just go straight down. You can't miss it. Good. I'm right behind you, Sheepa Bingo. Ooh. Look. Hey, you don't think this was a pirate ship, do you? I do now. Arr, matey. Remember, we're looking for a box with paw prints inside a bubble. Yeah. We got lots of places down here for a lost act to get lost. Scuba doggies there, scuba doggies. Tighten up your mask in the scuba kit. Look at me, Rolly. I'm the legendary pirate captain, Bingo Beer. And I'm your first mate, Rolly Beard. Uh -huh. Well, we searched this whole thing and didn't find the missing box for Bob. I know, the only box around here is this one. Wait, me neither. But I've said there were thousands of sea creatures around here. Maybe one of them saw the box fall off the boat. Then let's go find a sea creature. Uh, Bingo, are you swimming? I thought I was. Are you? I think so. Well, then why aren't we moving anyway? <laughs> hey, look at all that sand on top of the water. Rolly, that's a beautiful green island, like Garf told us about. Well, my, 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 it's Bingo and Rolly. Hey, Jonathan, what are you doing here? Well, we're looking for a box that fell off one. Well, then you've come to the right spot. Uh, what does the box look like? Well, if it looks like Bob's box, it's boxy and... Nope, haven't seen it. Bow to the wall, look! It's a paw print instead of bubble. This is Bob's lost box. We found it. What about that box? Oh, oh this is a nice one. <laughs> There's not as much to see in this pool as there was to see in the ocean. Hey, pal. It's my favorite deep sea divers. Bob! Bob! Yeah, we found it, Bob. Jonathan was sitting on it. Oh, this is so exciting. I can't wait for you two to see what I got you. There's special flippers just for dogs that can help you swim even faster. <laughs> now those are pretty cool. Ahoy, puppies. Ahoy, hissy. And thanks, Bob. Yeah, Bob, thanks. Go, scuba doggies. Go. One, two, three, go! Yeah! <laughs> we did it, Rolly! We conquered Mount Bingoli! Time to celebrate! Well, if you say so! Hey there, guys! Mind if I borrow a cushion? <laughs> hey, look what's on TV! That butterfly looks a lot like the ones on TV. Oh, whoa! You're supposed to be on a journey with thousands of butterflies. <gasps> Bye, guys. See ya, Hissy. See you after work. Hey there. Hi, hi, butterfly. Yes, then I think we have our mission. We're going to help this butterfly find her family at the butterfly forest. <laughs> hey, look, she likes it. Come on, Vicky. Let's go find your family. Bye, 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 bye Vicky. Huh. We're super, super <laughs> extra home. Really excited to be going on a mission. Going on a mission. Five, four, three, two, one. We just need to find our way to the butterfly forest, which is by the sunny, warm beach. Don't worry, Vicky. You'll be back with your family before you know it. Butterfly bus lines all the board. Sounds like they're going to the Butterfly Forest, too. Then all aboard the Butterfly Bus! Look, Vicky! The wheels on this bus are going really round and round, and they're taking us right where we need to go. Don't worry, Frank. There's a gas station and repair shop right there. I'm sure they'll fix this bus in no time. And she looks like she's missing our family, too. It's okay, Vicky. You don't need that big bus to take you to your family. Yeah, because you've got us. <laughs> the 
it's beautiful. What a view! But which way is the butterfly force? I think my arms are tired, but that's about it. <laughs> Look! I see them flying near the ocean. Them who? That's why we're not going to walk. Hanging on tight. Cause the roads are winding. Moving down the mountain. It's a kite string. And hold it so I don't blow away. Got it? Got it. Can I hear you? Not really. Not here. Steer! Fear? There's nothing to fear, Bingo. I've got you. For you to fly there, we'll find another way. Rolly! Positive! And Vicky saw our family there, didn't you? Then it's a good thing we practiced climbing Mount Bingley this morning. Let's do this with puppy power! Is this your family, Vicky? Think that's a yes. Bye, Vicky. I'll miss you. Me too. Welcome back. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Clint Manley, and I am back at the Butterfly Forest. I wonder if that butterfly that was here this morning... We made it, Frank! I'm glad they finally fixed that bus, huh? Nestor, one landed on me. Are you enjoying your trip to the Butterfly Forest, sir? It's a dream come true. Yeah, 